As promised, vitamin D, good or bad. These sunglasses, good or bad. Uh, you know, at the montage, at this beautiful, I mean, did you see this? Camera guy, you know, take him around, man. You see all that? That's, that's an amazing view, right? Damn, it's nice here. I do love it here. But I had to do one on sun. You know, I'm a big fan of the sun. Not a fan of sunscreen. But in this video, you're gonna learn a little bit about the sun, why it could save your life, but why taking vitamin D could cost you your life, no doubt about it. Look, there's something called a functional deficiency. And you have to understand fat-soluble vitamins. Fat-soluble vitamins, let me just rattle a few off. Vitamin A, vitamin D, which is what we're talking about. Vitamin E, those are probably the ones you're familiar with. What about K2? Vitamin K2 has a lot of important functions, one of which is actually moving calcium into your cells, into your bones, and making it usable. All right, every vitamin, vitamin A, plays a particular role with your immune system and cancer. So here's the problem. All those fat-soluble vitamins that I just mentioned, obviously really important for our health. The problem is this. They compete for the same receptors on the cell. <laughs> I'm sure you're saying, Dr. Bobby, you're losing me. I don't even care about that. Follow me. The fact is, is when you're taking vitamin D without vitamin K, without vitamin A, E, and all of the fat solubles, it's called a functional deficiency. What happens is, is it blocks the receptor sites, and now you become functionally deficient in the other fat soluble vitamins. So when they said, you know, and believe me, many medical doctors will say, don't take vitamin E, it can cause cancer. Don't take vitamin E, it can cause hip fractures. Because there were studies showing that. Well, there was some truth to it. However, it wasn't the vitamin D. It was the fact that the vitamin D was creating a deficiency, blocking the receptor for vitamin A, which actually led to cancer in these studies. Blocking the receptors to vitamin K which led to hip fractures because it caused a lack of absorption of calcium. See, that sun right there, I think you can see it. That's the best way to get vitamin D. Camera guy was like, yeah, we can see the sun. <laughs> That's the best way to get vitamin D. Let me tell you something. It's so complicated because when, we get, when we're in that sun without sunscreen on, we get way more than vitamin D. Matter of fact, we are, yeah, matter of fact, like and share this because believe me when I tell you this, right now you have so many friends taking vitamin E and I'm gonna do a show on probiotic. Matter of fact, it's coming up in my 180 degree solutions um, because a lot of people think probiotics are healthy. Find out why they could be making you sick just like vitamin D. So share this and like this because many of your friends and family are taking vitamin D and believe me, it can cause many, many, many problems, even symptoms that you may not expect because you've been on your vitamin D so long because everybody told you to take vitamin D. So like this, share this. A lot of people need to hear this message. Thank you for doing that because this is years of uh, you know teaching these things and believe me, people still aren't getting the message, so let it come from you, please. But look, the fact is, is that uh, when we get into this sun, it does more than even just raise vitamin D. Yeah, there's something called cholesterol sulfate. I know cholesterol is a bad thing. No, cholesterol is a really good thing. And again, future shows on that because we need cholesterol for our brain to work. We need cholesterol for our membranes to work, and cell membranes. I just bored you, but that's a big one right there because that's how your hormones work. So cholesterol is at the top of the hormone chain. You wanna have good hormones, have good cholesterol. But look, it's a little more complicated than that because that sun actually attaches cholesterol and sulfate together and that's what you need for your hormones that's what you need for your brain to work really important I think we keep learning more about how important getting in the Sun without sunscreen on look I'm not telling you to go out in the Sun and get burnt I was in the Sun today no doubt we need Sun but we don't want to get burnt but forget about the sunscreen I don't know if you're fair skin 10 15 20 minutes whatever it takes to get some sun without sunscreen, get in the sun. Now, what about these glasses? You see I have them on right now, right? It makes it easier to do the video. But today, I had them off for many hours. See, in our eyes, we have actually receptors to that sun, all these different wavelengths, right? And we're just learning how important it is, even for our sleep. So when you're going before bed, when you pick up your phone, I just went to reach for my phone. He has my phone. He's using my phone. <laughs> so, but you're reading these screens. There's something called blue light, fluorescent lights, LEDs, 
halogens, they have unopposed blue light, meaning that sun has blue light, but it's opposed. It has the reds, the greens, all the full spectrum, which is how our retinas, all these receptors work. It helps us make melatonin, hormones, chemicals that our brain needs. We need that sun more than you can even imagine. When you put sunglasses on, now I'm not getting all of the all of the, uh, the spectrums of light that I need to make all these amazing hormones, etc. So really, really important. So back to the, it, what happens at night. You're reading your cell phone, you're getting the text, right? We all do it. I know, I start looking things up at night, believe me. However, it's unopposed blue light. And unopposed blue light depletes melatonin. So now you don't get deep levels of sleep. Sometimes you see, I, I happen to not have it on, I didn't put it back on. Sometimes you see this big ring, I'm not trying to be fancy, that big ring, I wish I had it on right now. It actually measures my delta sleep, my REM sleep, and all my phases of sleep. And you know me, I'm a experimenter and a scientist at heart. But if you look at these screens before bed, you'll see that you'll deplete your deep sleep, which is your recovery sleep. So, all right, camera guys tell me, share. What do you saying, camera guy? Share Jump it in, up. share it up. And if camera guy, if you think of some questions, because camera guy's a doctor, fire away on me here because they may have questions. So look, the bottom line is you deplete your melatonin, you don't go into deep sleep. How do you fix it? We need this light to offset the blue light. When we're inside, we're getting this unopposed blue light all the time, which is depleting our melatonin, affecting how our brain works. So we need this sun to offset it. The more that you get, the more that doesn't impact you, especially with your sleep. This affects every health. I interviewed a guy on Cellular Healing TV. Go back and look at it. His name is Jack Cruz. He's actually an amazing surgeon, but this guy is a research scientist on light. Watch the interview. Right out of the gate, I asked Jack this question. I was kind of throwing him off a little bit. I was setting him up, really. I said, Jack, what's more important, food or light? I knew his answer. He said, light. <laughs> so that's how important this sun is, right? All right, so vitamin D can be very dangerous. If you take vitamin D, make sure it's balanced in, a, in the, uh, all the fat solubles, vitamin A, K, because I know you're going to ask me that. You have to make sure it's balanced. One of the ones on my site is one called DV3 that a very bright biochemist developed in the right ratios like they are in nature. So I'm a fan, but I'm a bigger fan of that. Trust me. You know, I get that as much as I can everywhere I go. And by the way, it's not just on the face. We want to expose our body for it really to work. Camera guy, what do you have? What kind of questions do we get? Ask some questions. Camera guy will read them. I mean, you probably have some questions. Fire away. I live on the East Coast where the sun doesn't shine often. How do you suggest people who live in cloudy places get more vitamin D and sunshine? Yeah. I, I mean, look, I, I think that there is a time to take vitamin D. I, I do. I, I'm not going to say that there isn't. However, that's why if you can take a vacation even one time during the winter, I'll tell you what, it'll boost your immune system massively. It will change your mood. It will change your hormones. Sun is that important. I mean, it affects literally every cellular process. So try to get in the sun. If you have to take vitamin D, just make sure it has all of them. The vitamin K, the vitamin A, the vitamin E, make sure it has all of them. DV3 is the one that I would take, but I try to get in the natural sun. Any other questions out there? None coming through right yeah, this Yeah, okay, second. yeah, but you might have one. Um, besides uh, the phone, can TV and computers also have a problem with Yeah, no, no doubt about it. I mean, and LEDs are really strong. When you look at the spectrum of blue light, it's very, very strong. And LEDs, everyone's going to LEDs. Why they last, right? I mean, you don't have to keep changing your bulbs. So, yeah, the, the best bulb, you should be asking this question out there, is the old incandescent bulbs. You can get online and find them online and order them, but those are the closest to really being a full spectrum. Listen, this in, I don't know if I agree with Jack um, that it's more important than food, but I'll tell you what, uh, it's arguable. This is a real big problem today, getting full spectrum light. It's a big problem that everybody's taking vitamin D, just vitamin D by itself. It does lead to health problems, it does lead to immune problems, and it does lead to uh, symptoms that most people don't like. We've got one more question. Yeah. We have two uh, spurty vitamin D lamps. Any insights into the lamps? Yeah, I mean, I, again, I, I think that if it's a full spectrum, not every vitamin D lamp is created equal. You want to see as, as close to full spectrum as you can. Um, otherwise, again, when we're off of that full spectrum, 
Uh, we're going to see. If we keep talking, man, we're going to see. I, I'm not going to keep talking until that sun goes down. But uh, maybe I'll take, uh, what I'll do is I'll upload a picture of it when it comes down for y'all. But uh, that, that'll be exciting. Um, but yeah, I mean, you want to get it as close to full spectrum as you can. I, I, I think that there's some you know, benefit in that seasonal depression disorder. Uh, look, those lamps make a difference for people, right? Just to show you that, right? I mean, you know, some people are very, very sensitive. The more blue light you're exposed to without, you know, getting some of this really good light, the more it can cause depression. So a lot of people out there with depression, it can be because you're not getting enough of this. You know, forget about the sunscreen. Don't burn your skin. But we've got to expose our skin to that light. You know, and in grounding is a whole nother topic. These birds. <laughs> this bird's gonna come in. And he's gonna attack me. You know what it is? It's this food. He, he wants the food. Yeah, exactly. I'm not eating that food, but he wants that food. But yeah, so you know, we we really have to uh, expose ourselves, you know, to the light, our skin to the light, without covering up. Without you no, know, I was talking about grounding. Even walking today, I was out on that beach, getting those negative ions. Right, you were too, and we were uh, without shoes on because that grounding makes that sun even more powerful. Uh, Jack Cruz in the Sail Healing TV, go to my website, DR Papa, if you've never been there, but you'll see that interview with Jack Cruz. Impressive guy, impressive interview. Uh, very good. Listen, tomorrow, stay tuned. <laughs> He's beating the bird off, literally. <laughs> I want to get a tag. Remember They're the movie, gussy, man. remember the movie Birds with Alfred Hitchcock, oh. right? Am I dating myself on that? But yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah exactly. But. Uh, it was crazy, man. I mean, the birds came in, they attacked people. Yeah, One more question, Doc. Yeah. We have a couple more questions. A few people have asked, what about tanning beds? Good, bad, and different? What do you think? Yeah, not a fan. I mean, tanning beds, again, you're getting um, unopposed other rays, UVs. That's not good, right? UV light is very important, but unopposed, it causes cancer and, and damage. So remember, blue light is okay. You're going to start hearing more about this topic, but it's unopposed blue light. It really becomes the problems. Then now they have blue light because people are going to say, "What do I do?" Right, right, camera guy. You know what I'm saying? And by the way, camera guy, I'm just being funny. It's Dr. Joe, man. You saw him. If you didn't see his, uh, you know, Joe gave a great thyroid tip. Watch yesterday's video, and you'll see Dr. Joe and Dr. Hank. Um, but they have blue blocker glasses that have these funky kind of yellowish uh, lenses, and you can put those on while you're looking at your screens. On my phone, on these iPhones, they actually have a setting that will block a lot of the, uh, the blue light. You have to go in settings, my son does this for me, and you can, um, I, I, oh gosh, what is it under settings? I, I guess it's on screen, and you can dim your screen. Now on your computer, there's a couple uh, things you can put on your computer. One is iris something, which is better, it blocks all the blue light, and then the other one is Ah, I'll have to add it in the comments. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm just drawing a blank on Lux, something Lux, um, something Lux that you can add to your computer, and you put in the area that you live, and then it goes as night comes. It starts to block the blue light. So if you have to be on your computer at night, uh, you can do that. Um, I will put in both of these as um, you know. My son, my son, hey, Mayor. I, oh, by the way, tomorrow you're going to hear from my wife. So stay tuned. I know a lot of you love hearing from my wife, but you will hear from her. Hey, Mayor, what's the app? It's called Night Shift on the iPhone. Night Shift, someone's saying yeah, that? Someone's saying Night that. Night Shift on the iPhone. But what's F the Flux. computer app? Uh, Flux, thank you. Yeah. Flux. That's it. Yeah, and then Iris something is the other one, Mayor? Iris? Yes, Iris. Iris something, though. Isn't it Iris? I think it's just Iris. All right, just Google Iris. But anyways, put these things on your phone. If you have to wear the glasses. Listen, some people are so sensitive when they're inside all of the lights at night, you'll see people with those glasses on because they notice that it changes their sleep. About an if hour, it, hour and a half before you go to bed, you wear them? Uh, no doubt, even Joe maybe two. Maybe two hours? I know, we're just chatting, man. They want to hear from Joe, man. Joe's adding to this whole thing, right? Joe. Let me show you Joe, guys. There's Joe. Jersey Joe. How, How are, are you guys? Jersey Joe. You hey, saw him last night. What a great interview, man. It's good information. Oh, thanks, Get Gina. out there and share everything. Yeah. I'm telling you, you don't understand how much this affects everything you're doing in your sleep, especially mer melatonin, which is the major hormone that helps you sleep at nighttime. The blue light blocks that whole melatonin process, yep. which he's talked about. So this is important information. People don't realize how something so simple can be so effective yeah. for their sleep habits. Absolutely. Yeah, we have a lot of people on live right now, which is awesome. a great topic. Great. These are great topics. You know, share, you know, no, no doubt about it. 
uh, like this and share this. People need to hear this stuff, right? I mean, that's why I'm doing this. You know, I'm on vacation right now, honestly. I, Hi, Anna. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I saw some thumbs come across, some yeah. of your followers, yeah. right? That's why, Jared, didn't I tell you, Joe? I said, share this with your followers, right? You know, that's the key. So, uh, no doubt about it. Listen, share and like it. People need to hear this information. You're going to hear from Merrily tomorrow. Ah, man, I'm telling you. That's always exciting. Everyone wants to hear from Marilyn. Listen, I'll let you go. I want to watch the sunset. I'll make sure I upload a picture. Thanks, Joe. Thanks for that, man. Thanks, Thank guys. Thank you all. Have Love a good you night. guys. Yep.